Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back. Good morning. Good morning, Monday morning, YouTube. Monday morning. Glad a new haircut, Luke. Spit and shine. Yeah. New hat. Can't even see your head. It's that shiny. Oh my god. Looks proper shiny on there. Yeah. Already. New hat. So today. Hold on. We're just going to uh, get a cup of tea off the customer. Everyone's a bit, uh, a bit ropey, aren't they? <laughs> Customer's got the shake. Got the shake from Saturday night. Yeah. So today, job in hand. What we're going to do today is oh, they haven't seen the pergola, have they? Very nice pergola. How's it looking? Nice. Yeah, very nice pergola. We'll just, uh, shall we just take them through a couple of the uh, aspects of the pergola? We probably saw that we actually, in the time lapse the other day, what we did. Just bring them around here, see what, show them what we've done here. Now these, this 4 before post, a lot of people don't take the time and notch out, but I don't like doing it like that because a lot of people just send coach bolts straight through. But what we've done here is we've marked out and it's done purposely like this. We've notched out here for the timber to sit onto the post and it's actually screwed into the post both sides. But we worked it out that for to get this brace on here, it sits now perfectly between those two pieces when they're sandwiched together. So now it's all, it's all absolutely ballas, jallas. So now what we've done is we cut these out for the overhangs, cut the 50 mil, 50 mil out over, the, oh, well, 100, 100 mil out over the whole lot of it. And then we sent 200 mil um, sleeper screws straight through the top straight into the cross piece got some decent decent 6x2 um bracings on there they're all they're all spaced out 400 400 apart so yeah uh, no 450 sorry 450 they were spaced weren't they but we just got enough and the best thing to do here is get a line from this end to the other end when you've got those two set on snap a line a crop bob put a line across from one to the other and then you can bring your timbers into it so as the, you know exactly where the line's going to finish and you just cut them all for the profile this is the profile that the customer wanted she could have had curved she could have had full straight she could have had scrolls well that's what she chose that she wanted so and they were going to put these on the top of it um to give them more shade but over the weekend because we had a dull weekend they decided that they didn't want to go with that because it was way too dark so these now these sheets are going on here like this they're going on there like that all the way around all the way around the garage to hide that old old crap there but they look nice and after all that rain the, the garage roof is a success of course it's a success of course it's, it's never going to be anything not anything now so it <laughs> so yeah what we got here now is we're putting a post down this wall we're having just over a, over a uh, about 1100 gate they want on here to about here then we're putting a, a fence post fence post up against there gravel board feather edge panel is going to be cut down and that's going to go in there so that's going to one it's going to do two jobs it's going to secure the area for them and it's going to hold back this area here when the gravel board sits on there so Stay tuned. What we would like to get done as well today 
is to start cutting for these steps out. Get, we're going to get all this MOT area here, whackers, and we're going to get all the echoes set in along here, get the uh, get everything right, ready for laying stone tomorrow. That's the plan. So stay tuned. We'll put you on a time lapse and uh, watch the process. Exactly what, I, what I'm doing with this house. You can tell them now. Hey. I've been videoing you for the last right. few minutes. <laughs> I'm going to tell you what I'm doing. Now, I've seen this loads and loads of times where people have got a gate and it, the post's just flapping around like that. Now, I'm using 120 mil concrete screws. I've bought a 10 mil hole into the timber so as you won't get all the chewing up of the uh, timber when the screw goes in into the wall through the through the actual post i've cut the top of the post off on a 15 degree angle to stop the water sitting on the post that'll be sealed so the water can just come straight off but what i want what i want to say about these concrete screws if you've got a post on the wall like that and you've got it like that there's no once those screws bite into that wall there's none of this trying to pull it back and trying to pack it. So you need to make sure that you're packing it before you're actually putting the screws in. And you always should pack as close to the screw as possible. And then what we'll do once that's done is we'll put a thin strip down the edge there just to conceal any, um, any packers. I'm gonna go this side of the sun. So. Okay, that doesn't look too bad apart from this timber. This timber post is, tw it's actually twisted and that's because of these, the, um, these knots here. Perhaps wasn't a very good idea to put, to put the post, top of the post where the hinges are going, right there, but it is what it is and it'll be what it'll be. So, we've got those packers in there now. That's going nowhere. Just make sure that I'm right. That will be absolutely spondooly. See him? Absolutely spondooly. So, I got my mark on this side of the post. Well, the, all the holes are already pre-drilled anyway, so tinner actually, tinner, once it finds them holes, tinner going nowhere. <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> Check the power. No point in putting screws in the middle of a post they always need to be two abreast it's use absolutely useless people think oh yeah i'll put loads of loads of fixings down the middle it's absolutely useless a gate swings from left to right pivots there and what's what's it going to do this gate's going to be over three foot wide so the weight of this gate when it's wet it's gonna it's gonna require some serious fixings. That's why we're using these 120 mil um, concrete screws, and they're the absolute dream, aren't they, Dean? They are. And that post is absolutely bangers.
need to do is you need to pre-drill these these with the six mil bit as well. So what I've done, I've put the 10 mil bit, count sunk that in basically, and then I've gone through the timber with a six mil bit, and then I've put the six mil masonry drill bit straight in, and that's how I've got me uh, me holes. Absolutely bang on. Check that. So, if anyone thinks that they can come and pull that off <laughs> without a bar, or you can you can get that off that wall, be my guest, because you've got absolutely no chance. Now, what I'm going to do before I send it back home any further, I'm just going to check down the post. Yep. So these screws here require going in a touch more. That is absolutely bang on. So, let us know in the comments. That's never going nowhere. That is as safe as ours is. That'll hold anything. Very. Very, very nice. <laughs> I don't know whether or not we should give up on the uh, the Milwaukee front. Let us know in the comments who you think we should go after next for a sponsor. Still. <laughs> still. Still. <laughs> We need a family owned business, Makita maybe. Makita are the biggest uh, biggest family owned tool brand business in the world. Are they? Yes, they're family. It's a family run business. So Makita, if you're watching. We want to scrap Milwaukee. We'll scrap Milwaukee, because <laughs> we've got no joy with them. So, Dean's dug the post holes here. And we've got Have a look. Let's have a look. See what we've got. Oh, that is the height. Oh, that there, shot. That's the height. I want five feet, a five foot gate off there. Yes, beautiful. So, oh my God, he's only gone and got seven foot back on. Is it seven foot? Is that where it's level for your way eye? Uh, there, there, that's where it was before. That is bang on. That there is absolutely bang on. Lovely. Absolutely seven foot bang on, which is going to require a one foot gravel board and a four foot to fence panel. And two foot in the ground. And two foot in the ground. 600 deep. 300 gravel board, and then the uh, 1200 fence panel. Nice. Just, just like that. Quick update then, Shaft. Quick update. Quick update. <laughs> How's it going? Yeah, we are... Uh... Them two posts, well, three posts, panel, gravel boards. I'll show you what's happening at the back of here. At the back of this post here, because all the tarmac was high, so we put two gravel boards to make up for the height of this tarmac. We're going to cut that nice and neat after once all that's set and then refill it back in with tarmac we've got. Well, what Scott's got. Same across here. And then, what we are now, we are going to make the lattice for this back wall. So all I've just done here now is screw some 50 mil, 50 by 50 batten, tunnelized batten to here, around the edge. And all we're gonna do is start it from here, 45, 45 degree angle, all the way across. 
until it finishes up yonder and then in fact no we won't start at the bottom because that's no we're not going to do that we'll start at the top actually yeah that'll be better so yeah <laughs> that's what we're on oh so, nice yeah um anything else we've got to say to them mm. no nothing yeah, nothing at all no so we'll just get you on a time lapse and you can watch us uh, put this lattice together can't really mess about round there at the moment because all this is <coughs> all this has gone off all this has got to go off now till tomorrow and then i mean we have, as soon as we've got this done we'll perhaps start start getting the echo in echoes in perhaps start getting some of the steps sorted and then we've got the rest of the week then to uh, slab finish the slabbing make the gate make the gate that's going to be a custom build that's going to probably be a, a workshop job at me what i'm saying right and this is what we're using because we don't own a nail gun so we're using 45 millimeter by 3.5 millimeter stainless steel tongue tight screws which we'd usually use for <laughs> Jeez, you're floor, already in the shot now floorboarding so i'm just going to quickly show you actually i'm going to quickly show you what they look like when they penetrated into the cinema <laughs> So, <laughs> we lost the screw. We'll get you on a time lapse then. Not getting that out. <laughs> Look at them. Look at that. <laughs> How can he wear them? <laughs> How can he not wear them? <laughs> There's that many holes in them, it's unreal. Oh, mind you. I've just walked in and he just loves it that much. Look, I've been out, took the girls' gymnastics, come back, it's eight o'clock at night and he's still going. I'm just using up my uh, my bitch, you know what I mean? I'm in my flip flops. I'm just going up here, just using some scraps up the house. Health and safety police. Look at his pocket. <laughs> Putting some shelves up. <laughs> better that, isn't it? Much better. Nice little, uh, nice little shelves for me, uh, me little bits. Very good, uh, very good thing for. It. Yeah, my... Next one. You're putting a big one up now. That one. That's the same size as that one. How is it? Is that going across there? Don't know. Don't know. Put one in that corner. <laughs> oh, he has as well. Put another over there. She's using up all my scraps. 
Yeah, we're good, is it? Just having all this scrap about all the, all the place. So, just, uh, just getting to grips, trying to get my me, me work area clean so as I can just carry on. You know what I mean? It's got, it's got shit everywhere. Like my OCD. Yeah. Gorilla Glue's loop. Uh, if you're out there, Gorilla Glue. <laughs> I like it very much. I like it. I like it very much. Yeah. Yeah. Should go to epoxy, isn't it, Gorilla? I love it. Can't go enough of Gorilla. Gorilla glue. It's Tuesday. <laughs> Good morning, YouTube. It's cold. It's miserable. <laughs> Isn't it? I'm bloody red hot, man. Scotch. He's just come out of his workshop. Wow. <laughs> he's just got got out now, had a shower and got changed and he's back out. Well, this morning, because of this job that we're on now, is only across the road from where I live. And about half past four this morning, all this wood here. All this wood. A cat had been on here and knocked all this wood off. So I jumped up at all four this morning. Bang! I thought someone's fucking breaking in my van. <laughs> all out the window. The customers out looking all four this morning. And yeah, it was that cat. There was a big black clump of air somewhere when I come round this morning. What did you come round at that time as well? No, no. Uh -huh. No. As soon as I realised that no one was breaking in the van, I just got back in bed. You wouldn't find much in the van anyway, would they? No. So you've taken that key off, have you? Yeah. Yeah, so... My phone died yesterday during the time lapse. So I'll turn you around and I'll let you see what we've uh, been up to. Yeah. Hello, dog. Hello, dog. So I don't like the look of you this morning. It's because I've got me... It's because I've got me odor. Hey! Shut up, you. So the plan, the customer wants us to carry that way until we get to the bottom corner there. And then once we've gone across and got to the bottom corner, it then won't start going vertical. Change the pattern up. So we're going that way now till we get the corner and then Very nice. Very nice. And the customers undecided to want something else on top of this roof because these um, these trellisings were on the top. And because it's that close to the house, it was taking too much light off the house. So she's decided she doesn't want them on there no more. So she's going to have um, something different. So we'll see. Makeshift tent. It's banging it. No. It's a bit holy. It's a bit holy though, isn't it? <laughs> Better than full force though, isn't it? That lady, I moved that there out of the way so it was undercover. Yeah. We still carry on now, can't we? Dust it off. Dust the rain off. <laughs>
Not getting much done in this, are we? No, we're not. Do. Do that from, uh, wood. Go get some wood and go to the workshop and start building that gate. We're not getting getting out done here, are we? That's your new hat. Right. Sorry, no. <laughs> what about that, bro? Good morning, YouTube. So, quick... Uh, Talking through what we were doing yesterday, yesterday and what we come across. we had a right shite day because it was absolutely hammering it down. We finished that lattice there. Customers over the moon with that. We started setting these ACOs in, got it all set into here, took the old gully pot out. Where is it? It's just, it's just there on top of the... Uh... Well, we took the old gully pot out anyway, because it was cracked right on the bottom, right on the bottom here. And when I moved this ground... I'm going to show them. It's right here. I'm sorry. Let's show them. Here it is. That's where it, that's where it was cracked round there. You can see that's a really old break. That's our fresh cut, and it was so all that, full of mud. That on the corner was broken like that. So what's happened over time? The um, the water's just been seeping through here, seeping through there, and just travelling up the um, up the out, and it's. It's no good. So, a lot of people, what they would have done to save themselves the work is they would have said, right, we'll leave that, but we'll pretend we haven't seen it. It's not our job. One of them stories and just cracked on and then left the customer with the problem and just never said nothing. Got paid and then run off. But as soon as I noticed that, I stopped, I rang the customer, I told him the situation and he said, yes, no problem. Get it sorted and it's going to be a better job. So what we just have to do is here, right on this pot, right on this corner here. So the pipe came up, well, I sat down there on a bend and went into there. So it's just took me about half an hour just took me about half an hour to be able to cut that nice on there. We've got no clearance. We've, I can't even fit my finger through there, get down that gap. So I've had to dig a bit more ground out here. I know we've got this uh, tarmac area that's got to be sorted now, but it is what it is. So what we've got, we've got a lovely fit in there now. Right, snuggle. And once that, once that is, I'm going to put him on so as I can actually get to the, uh, get to the fittings. There we go. And that is as snug as a bug in a rug. And then we've got this gully pot here, which is then going to take the vein water and we are bang on height 150 mil below dam from the year to the year down spout straight in and then what we're also going to do is tap in from the um, from the aco down here that's going to come in we're also going to have the rainwater coming off the roof of the garage we're going to sink this pipe in down here straight in so let us know in the comments if you would have just 
seen it and run or you would have done a proper job we don't skim on jobs and we don't do cowboy stuff here at uh, stoke stoves and property maintenance <laughs> so if you want a job doing right call someone with no tooth so, so top tip of the day when you're cutting plastic pipe it will not go into the socket into the other end without with it being like that so what you have to do is you have to go round it don't worry i've got my safety contacts in done now is just chamfered the edges a touch you can do it with a file do it with whatever you want as long as you chamfer the edges and then it's always good just to help it go in because we always need a little bit of lube when you're putting something into a hole <laughs> <laughs> Try not get it all over the pipe, just round the edges there. There we go. And then, that then, should just go straight to the stockies. Just like that. Very, very nice. And then, what we've got here, the gully straight into there once we've got these these um, tightened up that'll be the absolute dream I'll get back to you in a minute good actually I'd like to get that a little bit further in actually yeah that's going to be the dream Push that in there. There you go. Look at the dog's face like. <laughs> so if it's holding there on its own like that. Oh mate. Solid. Samson. We'll even leave the sticker Come on. Out the way. Come out the way. Once it's propped underneath it'll be dream. Yeah. Well we can dry fit everything now, can't we? And that is gonna be, you know, I'm absolutely. It's coming home. It's coming home. It's coming. Football's oh, coming home. Right. Today we're actually laying some slabs at last. 
Go on in good. <laughs> yeah, the England. Um, yeah, first thing I wanted to say, I haven't commented on it yet, but I am going to later. I watched D and J Project's video this uh, last night, and they asked a little bit. I've got a little bit of a story. The uh, the accelerator stuck on on their power barrack, and they shouted out. They said, "Scott and Dean from Stoke Stoves and Property Maintenance." If you're thinking about getting a power barrier, because which we mentioned in one of the other videos, that the Excel don't bother because it'll try and kill you, it'll try and run you over. Now, I've got a story. Now, you're going, you, you won't even believe it. I was on holiday in Turkey. Now, from Ishmila to Marmaris, there was like a cobbled, a cobbled track, and we, um, we, we hired like these mobility scooters. And what oh, like trikes, weren't they? Yeah, they were like trikes, and I got my daughter on the back. Now, as you can imagine, red hot day, thirty odd degrees, top off, shorts on, flip flops on. I'm there, flying around this. Uh, as you, I don't know if any of you have been to Marmaris up there or Ishmila, but you know the the walk along the front of the beach. As you come out of Ishmila, is it Ishmila the one that's further yeah. away? Yeah. As you come out of Ishmila, the main market town where all the boats are in the harbour. No, that's Marmaris. Oh, sorry, that's Marmaris. Marmaris. As you come out of there, out of Marmaris, where all the boats are and everything, the big pirate ships, you come across a big long track and then it kind of cambers down a bank, down a hill, a little bit of a, yeah, a little bit of an hill. And then it's like on little cobbles, like an old cobbled road. And over the edge, you've got like no barrier or nothing. Just um, just rocks in, in the sea, probably, I don't know, six foot drop straight into the sea, straight off. Now, I'm flying, I'm flying down this track thinking I'm bloody all brilliant on this little uh, mobility scooter thing, trike thing. I got my daughter on the back. Seeing, seeing all these people as I come round the corner, I let off the accelerator the accelerator stuck on. So there's me trying to let off because there was a load of people there. I couldn't make the, the I couldn't make the corner because it was too sharp. What did, what happened? I only ended up going off the edge of the track straight into the sea with my daughter on the back. <laughs> she so couldn't this, even swim, could she? She couldn't even swim. She was only this bloody big. So first thing I did is suit I knew I was going in the water I couldn't even help it so I just kept it straight then and I just drove off the edge straight down a drop straight into the sea with all rocks and everything because I knew I'd, I'd end up tipping it over if I'd have tried to pull it round because it was only a three-wheel trike thing so if I'd have gone over tried to correct it it would have either at one ended up on the the cobbles which would have made a right mess of me and my daughter and I thought in that split second that the best place for us both to go was in the sea. And that's why I honestly truly believed at the time. So I sent us in the sea. So I'm in, I'm in the water. First thing I think to myself, didn't even think about any injuries or anything to myself. I thought, right, my daughter, she can't swim. We're in the sea. So I just literally flung myself up like a... Like a lion. <laughs> I was like, ah, oh, where's my daughter? She was literally. Like, <laughs> where was she? She was like, ah, like her head was under. The, in fact, her head was under the water, and then she come up and she was like, and I grabbed her. Didn't even think about my bag with my phone and everything else was all floating, floating around in the sea with all my backer and that. So next minute. Just been the market, bought yourself 20 pouches. Yeah, yeah. No, I didn't buy any bag uh, from there. So anyway, I got my daughter out, got her like a big hero. <laughs> but it was my fault at the end of the day for being an idiot. So I put her, I put her on the side. She's all shook off, all, all in a daze. And so that was okay. The guys had to come back, come from the, the other flat side of the town and um, come and recover it out of the what's it? And they tried to bill me for it. And I said, you've got no chance. I said, I should be billing you said your accelerator's stuck on. I said it was bloody dangerous. So anyway, I looked down, I've got blood coming down my leg and I've got like these, um, like there was some kind of coral on the, uh, on, the, on the rocks or whatever it was anyway. But I've got loads of like 
big thorns sticking out my legs and like out my arms and stuff. So yeah, that was, I know exactly what you boys are on, like, <laughs> believe me. But that was the long way. But, but that, was, that was the story, and that is 100% true. Now Dave said from the, the father that don't bother getting one um, because they're bloody dangerous. Now I know exactly what it's like. When that accelerator, I watched the video and I watched it unfold as it happened. <laughs> And I thought to myself, man, you you were both very, very lucky. And I've done it myself, whereas you've actually not been thinking about what you're doing. Get off the machine, push the handle on the lever and not uh, take the safety up. And he's actually gone round and the bloody, the booms ended up nearly crushing him as well. So, yeah, we, were, we, st we might still get a power barrier. But, rule of thumb, always check your machinery is working first thing in the morning. Service it. <laughs> service oh, that brand service, new. That, service it. That brand new power barrow. Yeah. So, today, it's not raining. And hey. we've managed to get the drain in. That was a nightmare yesterday. Um, forward and backwards. Anyway, it's absolutely hammered it down through the week. We've actually got zero done. No production, really, whatsoever. Um, but now we've got all these ACOs set in. They are nice and hard now. They've been in a couple of days apart from that end one. And now we just we've got us level set out with a string. We know that that's perfectly square. These ACOs are perfectly square to everything in the garden. So I, what I'm going to do, I'm going to run off. I've got my line here with my four one from there to there. It's only three meters. It's thirty mil, twenty five, thirty mil full from there to there, so it's absolutely plenty. I've worked out my distance from there, where my slabs are gonna finish, right on the edge of the um, the steps, so that's, so we're not gonna have any gaps underneath the steps there. So yeah, it's going, uh, and we've, we've got here now, about 50 mil bed, which, it's very nice, and it's very nice. It's a bit deep really, that is going to use a lot of material we might have to go and get some more stone uh, <coughs> some more sharp sand but decent mix on we've got a decent mix um five five and one mix not too strong so yeah it's nice and red no cement in it <laughs> no it's good five and one mix bit, some people might think it's actually a bit but we've got SPR, so it doesn't matter, does it? <laughs> okay. Yeah, dude. Once they stick, they never watch it. We've got plenty of feb, 25 mil of the feb in the uh, in the mix, so it's nice and creamy. So when that goes down, that'll just <laughs> suck that straight up, and it'll give me plenty of decent working. I know you're feeling all right today. I'm. To be fair, I'm feeling a bit rough because I didn't have anything to eat last night. I had no tea. I had four bags of crisps in the pub. I had one of them. Oh, you bought another, didn't you? Yeah. So, I sent one back then, so I had four bags of salt and vinegar. So, I sent, I sent one back and I got a cheese and onion. Right, but... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. I I had a, a can of Strongbow while we were round Dean's fitting his window after work. I went to the pub. I had a dark fruit. I had a carling. And then I had two pints of what you had out of that jug. And so that's five pints, isn't it? And two Jaeger bombs. Them things are. Oh, yeah, that's. I only I came in, sat down, and Jaeger bomb was in front of me. Yeah, no good. When people start saying on a week on a weekday, 10 Jaeger bombs, sir. <laughs> no, it's not good. Even, I only had two, but I still haven't had anything yet. That's what break. makes you rough, isn't it, the next day? Yeah. I'll have two paracetamol. Oh, yeah. I'll have two paracetamol because. Oh, my head is a bit in the shed. But we're going to put you on a time lapse and see what we can get done. We would be, be a bit slow, I reckon, for a bit roti. So.
fuck you, fella. That bad to work. <laughs> no, not him, no. Don't forget that. We've come to Holmes Chapel. Yes, yeah, very posh, very posh area. Very posh area, look. <laughs> very posh affluent area. <laughs> This is. Yeah, Scott's too old. <laughs> Just borrowed them. <laughs> so, is this going to be on? Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be on. Are oh, you alright with it being on or not? We're going to get a mortgage payment now. <laughs> <laughs> this is a YouTube subscriber, started watching us, and he said he wants us to do his work, so this is what we've got coming up. Yeah, we've got all that lot. He wants a fence all the way down here. Two meters. In front, of, in front of that edge, all this ground here, it's all got to be ripped out, digger and dumper in here, get all that shit out here, all that, all this one's stirring up first before anything else. So that is one for watch out for. Granite, granite interiors. Granite interiors. Check them out. Have you got a Have you got a Facebook? Uh... Not yet, but I will have. But I might change my business name by then, depending how this goes. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll get back to you on that one. So yeah, we're going to give it a good clean up first, aren't we? Good clean up, and then we're going to go from there. Splendid. So we'll keep you updated on that one. Yes, sir.